Here's HW Ovine Zinfandel 2014 from Lodi. This actually comes from a winery called the E2 family. And the HW stands for Herman and Walter Ayler, who are the ones that started the winery way back when. It's actually been in existence since the 1800s. And uh, been going ever since. But um, more importantly, you've got Old Vine Lodi Zinfandel in here. Now, Lodi is a place where uh, Zinfandel just does so beautifully. It's, uh, you know, they sort of consider it like the the birthplace of Zinfandel in, in California. <laughs> it lies just to the east of the San Joaquin Sacramento Valley Delta and all the way east of the San Francisco Bay. So all those cool breezes come off the bay and up the river, flow right into Lodi. And so even though Lodi is really in the Central Valley, which is very hot, hot, <laughs> lots of sunshine, the cooling breezes balance it all out and just make it a really great spot for growing grapes. Um, of course, Zinfandel loves that hot weather. You have all these uh, really nice alluvial soils too for these grapevines to dig down deep, get really nice, healthy old vines. So some of these vines are you know, 100 years old or more. I think this uh, average is about 60 years old in this one. And so you get all that really good, intense flavor, um, but it's not overblown because of the cooling effects of those breezes. So the grapes take on nice balance, lots of nuance, and they even retain some nice acidity. They uh, do a very light oak treatment on this so as to really emphasize that beautiful Zinfandel fruit. Getting some nice, blackberry, black cherry notes out of this right now. Mm, a hint of strawberry in there too, wow. Yeah, some spice coming up under there, like a little bit of a brown spice, like a cinnamon maybe. Be a little licorice coming up too. And there's a little hint of like wood smoke. Goes nicely with that strawberry. Mm, great nose, all right, let's try it. <laughs> yeah, so. <clears throat> Really nice fruit on this, really rich fruit. Strawberries, cherries, blackberry. And then that spice kicks in. I'm even getting like some brown sugar notes on there. The vanilla, that, that sort of those cinnamon notes. The tannins are very smooth, very soft on this. Of course, had a couple years bottle age, so rounded out some of those tannins. And there's some nice acidity. And the, the alcohol is quite balanced in this too. A lot of times these Zins can really be over the top alcohol wise. This one's really nice, balanced, beautiful. You know, uh, Thanksgiving coming up. <laughs> Zinfandel goes with everything, right? I'd be drinking.